Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to uh, video number five and uh, from Haiti Break. And today we're going to talk about. Uh, um, I was I was actually debating whether we're going to talk about um, um, two topics. Is actually the first one is abundant giving, or we're going to talk about some real estate stuff. And uh, I decided we're going to talk about some real estate stuff. By the way, um, this is my today's task, right? I see that I have like full pages of uh, things that I already have have wrote, written down for this morning, and uh, and there's this whole bunch of tasks that I check it off, and um, and uh, and I prioritize it as um, if you listen to my previous video that I mentioned that uh, it's a really key thing you prioritize uh, things that you need to do um, as Brian Trace has mentioned um, um, that you. Do the things that's most pro that's most need your attentions to, and you address them, and that's going to be give you the most uh, powerful result. And uh, so, um, this things creating video for me is number four, number five. Um, I'm going to talk about how to create the LOI. And many question, many investor have um, have asked me over the years. It's like, what is the LOI? Um, and it's, it's pretty totally normal. Is because in in Canada. Um, we don't usually do LOI. Uh, LOI just stand for um, just plainly of uh, letter of intent. And we do a lot in uh, especially Americans uh, um, putting offer, especially on the bigger properties and apartment buildings and so forth. Um, so that's why I want to address it today. I want to teach you, teach you how exactly how um, I do LOI, how I get my LOI accepted. Um, but uh, before we move on, the, um, so um, so this is a. This is a, a sample of LOI, which I am going to put a link on the video. I'm going to do it so that I give you a copy of the template that you can change the things that you had to change. Um, but at first, I want to um, give back on why why we write why we write LOI in uh, in US is basically um, when you as a buyer are trying to purchase a property. Uh, the first thing you do is uh, first of all you um, you let's say you do the due diligence and uh, preliminary you like the property and now you move want to move forward but you want to basically you is is an offer is an offer that is such a way that you um, you just give the price that you want and uh, but the thing is like it's not a binding contract uh, but but in business well. Um, letter intent for buying properties like apartments like I do is um, if you basically at the end of the day you agree and you sign that it's a good handshake um, and, and we all know in the business world that if you have a good handshake and it's nothing wrong if there's nothing wrong with the deal that is everything is as per what everyone agree um, sometimes it's, it's tough but uh, if that's the case um, then you basically have the trust and you, um, you basically have um, if you say you're gonna close it, you're gonna close it. Um, so, um, but that the intent is basically is um, if you want to offer buyer property, buy properties and offer a price, offer terms. You basically laid it all out. But today, I want to give you um, a, a gist of that. What is it? So, so give to give you an example. So, this is a really, um, really uh, simple form of letter intent. I have three pages. And so basically at the beginning of that is you you just talk about that you want to buy the property. So you put in your um, property name and sometimes address there. And then second thing is you put down the price. So in this case, I'm buying um, Amy Apartments. And um, so on this LOI and I put in uh, 1.25 million. Um, and then after that, so you put in, you know, sometimes you can or you can omit that. It's basically, you give what it is is you give a really high level, um, high level, high level uh, information as in, um, as in how you want to buy it, what price you want to buy it, what terms you to buy it, and what 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 financial, physical, uh, due diligence um, uh, terms you want to put in as 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 kind of like a like over over over. over um, a big architecture, um, but um, because at the end, like the the, the idea is, um, it, once you have a real OI, you can actually use that as to send to your lawyer and have the lawyer to draft the a PSA, which is a purchase and sales agreement. Um, you don't want to sell a PSA because PSA costs 
um, cost thousands of bucks and you know typical is like 15 to 1500 to 2000 and you don't want to do that if you don't have a agreed price with the seller so um, after the purchase price you will put an inspection period so basically inspection period is a physical inspection period um, basically telling up telling like you know dictating how long of time you can actually go in and actually do a physical inspection of the property and typical will be 30 to 45 days right 30 days um, after you sign the PSA right and then the financial period and basically financial period is give you the time that you can have um, basically that's time frame right after right after um, then you sign the PSA the purchase and service agreement how much time you can actually go through uh, seller provided financial information which is rent rolls and and pop a P&L statement and bank and banks bank statement bank deposit and all that to verify the numbers actually right as per the seller or the broker has proclaimed and then the next thing that I have it here um, is earnest money so on a typical offer um, it's basically it's not much different from when you're buying a single family um, when you're buying a single family you put a deposit and here we talk about the same thing um, and one thing that's different from single family is um, um, it can happen in single family too but more happens to commercial is um, you uh, very very much you put one to three percent of uh, um, deposit the basic good faith money is saying that you have interest to buy the properties and um, but sometimes if the market is so hot like what we experience in the US right now and some of the state that you know there's so many multiple offerings there's always multiple offer um, almost uh, for the ones that I've seen in, in US right now and you um, you the seller request hot money and what hot money is basically is the money that once you put in there um, the money is go hard so it's not it's not um, some people will have have um, have uh, challenge distinguish hot money lender versus hot money so we talk about different things here the hot money here we talk about is when you submit that and when the terms is waived and and the, the terms will be different basically after that um, your money is go hard basically you cannot get it back but even if you don't buy the properties so you're gonna be really careful on the terms here on the hot money terms um, uh, where the money go hard so that's the term um, so and then after that so go to the second page of Ad Letter in Time, which I'll be sharing with you. And um, it's, 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 the, it's the broker fee. So broker fee, we hear, um, um, usually is, uh, is, is paid by seller. So what we do here, um, and, and it's basically, we just say that it's dictated by seller agreements because we don't know how, how they are being you know, negotiated. And the closing date, the closing date is really important. Next thing is closing day. You want to make sure that you have enough time to close. Typical closing day will be we refer to sixty days uh, after the PSA is signed. So because you know when you sign and have agreed the LOI, it doesn't mean that um, it doesn't mean the clock is ticking. We use the term the clock is ticking is basically that the time that you have start um, um, doing due diligence, physical inspection, due diligence, um, financial due diligence, and legal due diligence. Uh, because we, as you see, we have limits on time. The seller usually limits you as in how much longer you can hold the property. So, um, because like, what if you don't close and they they do, they want to get the, the property out to the market as soon as possible? And many times this can be dragged on really really long, and which is like from the seller's perspective, it's not good. But by from a buyer perspective, obviously you have more time to to make decision and and inspect the property and really just to understand the numbers the condition of the properties and do the due diligence that you need is very important so that's good for buyer um, and then um, and then that basically is it so on the typical LOI is um, you know it's not much different from um, a normal um, offer but except it's a good handshake but it's not it's not binding again it's not binding it's kind of like the P uh, P document before you actually sign the PSA or have a, actually have a lawyer to sign PSA because lawyer usually draft that and lawyer would charge you um, good money for that and, and as a real estate investor you always try to find ways to do deal more efficiently and it's good for investor good for the investor that going in with you um, um, along the deal on the deal so um, that's just it again I will post a link on um, on on the on the post so that the, all of you can actually get a copy of the LOI that I have used uh, for uh, many, many deals and some media and have got accepted. Um, 
and uh, I'd like to um, also, for all of you has been uh, has been tuning into my video, I want to uh, give you guys uh, some prize, of course. Um, so, as you guys know, I'm on magazines. Um, so I want to um, give out to the people who actually request and reply to my post. And I just want to give you guys, I will actually mail it out to you guys. Uh, if you reply, then let me know your address. Um, you don't have to do it on the on, on, the, on the post, you can message me. Um, but I will give you a copy of my magazine, which have my cover on top, a Canadian wealth, real estate wealth magazine. I'll also give you um, half, half press uh, from, from, the, from the printers. That is my my copy of my uh, book. And uh, so nine millionaire secrets on real estate, which is I give you a physical book. Um, but um, yeah, so uh, I, I hope that you make a lot of deals. I hope you go do a lot of LOI because without offers, you're not gonna be able to close any deals. And uh, so that's the first step, and it's really important. And uh, one of my really respected mentor told me that I have to do two offer a week. And uh, you know, when I hear him say that at the beginning, I think uh, you know it's pretty, it's pretty intense. Um, but uh, what he's actually talking about is actually talk about you're gonna be uh, give a lot of offers. You're gonna see a lot of properties, and, uh, and of course, you're gonna see. You need a lot of deal flow before you can see. You can put an offer, but the. But the, but the bottom line is, if you don't put any offer, you don't put enough offer, um, you're not gonna get accept the offer, and which you cannot close property and uh, do, do, do well in your business. So putting offer to OI a week. Um, so um, I'm not there yet, but I mean, um, that's, that's some really ambitious investor out there, and, uh, and, that's, uh, that's, and, and that, that's, uh, that's an indication of massive actions um, to put offers. So here we go, and video five for from Hey to Break on how to uh, write LOI. I hope you enjoyed it, and talk to you next time.